Hey guys, this is Andre or Chokenator if you know me from my stream. It's been a while since I made a Krita animation tutorial. I just recently found another very useful tool that you might want to use. Um, so I made this character animated with a fighting pose here. As you can see, she's kind of making this cool pose and maybe moving her arms around. And I want to do a size comparison to the other character I have on the other layer. So what I want to do is move her down here. But notice, if I just do the transform tool and move her down there, it only moves one frame. And all the rest of the frames are still up there. And I don't want to take every single frame and just try to move them down the same spot. And notice they're not adjusted properly. Um, I want to be able to move them all at once. So I press undo a couple times um, to move them back where they were. And here's what you do. So you actually right click the layer of your animation. You hit add, transform mask add transform mask and you can see it adds into the layers this transform mask right there so you can use the transform tool on the transform mask layer right there so control t for transform and or the transform tools right there if you guys have never seen it before transform tool control t and i'll just move her down there right there so now you can see she is the right size that i want so i'll just confirm that and now you can see all the frames have moved down now let's say there's something wrong with the animation. Because let's say this might be useful for your backgrounds, for example, if you have a twinkling star or a moving flower or a tree blowing in the wind or something like that, and you want to move it. Um, let's say you want to make the tree bigger. So I can take the transform mask and I can make it bigger. Or maybe flatten it a little or something. Or I can rotate it and skew it. But no matter what you do, you can see that the transform mask keeps the animation there however you transformed it. So there you can see that. And let me just get it back to how it was. Um, isn't that kind of funny looking, how, how that looks? It's kind of cool. You can do like TV screens and stuff like that. So let me get back that back to how it was. Now let's say you want to clean up your layers and you don't want this transform mask to be there anymore. What you can do is right click this and just hit flatten layer. And then now you just have uh, back to normal. Okay, so you got rid of the transform mask, but everything is still where it needs to be. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope you find that useful, guys. See you guys later. Bye-bye.